Okay, guys, I wanted to give you a little update on our uh, fridge issue. This is an N611 six cubic foot fridge in my RV that, uh, you know, it's probably in a lot of people's RVs, pretty common for this size. Um, basically, it started uh, doing the five flashing thing when I would turn it on, and that would be either on electric, it's got AC, doesn't have DC, just AC or gas. Um, it would flash five times and the fridge wouldn't cool down. The freezer would start cooling down, but, you know, it pretty much wouldn't cool down. So, let me give you a little roundup of what I did. Uh, and I did all the work without videoing it, and I'm going to start videoing it and stuff more, but I uh, just wanted to go through. So, tested the thermostore. Great videos out there how to do that. Make sure that's right, because that's huge. That's cheap. It's only 18 bucks off Amazon. Uh, you put your ohms meter on there, unplug it. And it, mine was in spec. And, you know, nor cold, cold, the nor cold guy will uh, give you those specs if you go to that website. And he gives you a lot, a lot of troubleshooting tools, which I went and, and did myself as well. Um, so anyway, I haven't replaced it uh, just because I, I was running into so many issues with this fridge. Uh, but it didn't, it didn't do anything. So I uh, ended up replacing the whole cooling unit. Um, so that being said, that was about 900 bucks of Amazon came from the Norcold itself cooling unit, um, had to take the fridge out. Uh, that's, you know, these two guys, there's two screws here, there's two screws here to take this bezel off and there's two screws under this bezel and that's nothing on the side. I had to take a pry bar on the bottom here and a, and a rubber mallet, uh, to really lift this thing up. I won't sugarcoat it to you. I almost cut this thing in half. I was so pissed off at it for not coming out easily. I couldn't figure that out. Um, it's it's just a pain. But that being said, let me hang on a second. Okay, we're back. That being said, I broke one of these guys too, so four dollars on Amazon to get a pair of these. So this is a 2005 Winnebago, 22 foot chalet. So it's very fancy French chalet. Anyway, uh, in this guy, I have four bolts: one here, one down there, uh, down here, down there. Nothing on the bottom. So to take mine out, take these four, do those screws in the front. Um, and what got me to is this screw on the power for the AC. Uh, there's two screws that screw into there and actually held the fridge in as well. So I had to take these off as well. Still a pain in the butt to get that thing out of there from the front. I, I mean, it sucked. Um, I was pushing here, etc., etc. So, long story short, you know, take pictures of everything you take off. If in my case, it was only the DC here, you know. DC ground. This is new on the cooling unit, this guy, safety feature. So it came with these wires and instructions on how to do it. The bottom one I ran to here. And then the top one ended up going to this DC guy here. And I think, yes. And I believe this is just so if it gets too hot and it senses like a fire, it'll shut down the propane. It's a safety, new safety feature. Uh, whatever. Anyway, I put this whole new cooling unit on. So pull the fridge, put cooling on. There's videos on how to do it. Very easy. Um, and uh, to my disappointment, uh, it wouldn't cool down again on gas, but it would on electric. So to fix that... I bought a new burner, this guy. So undo this guy, pulled out the old burner, put a new one in, and now it's working on gas. So probably did need a new colon unit, but if you look at mine, it was pretty nasty. I'll, uh, I'll show you that right now. So basically, Google how to undo this stuff, not hard to do. Um, the hardest part was cooling down, waiting for cool downs. If it didn't work, try again. So it takes multiple days. 
Um, but that being said, my old cooling unit is in here, and it was, it's just nasty. They gave me a bag to put it in, but uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. So, um, anyway, it cools down real fast now, a lot better than before, even when this thing was working, so I don't feel too bad. Um, what I would say is, uh, if you buy the parts from the Norcold guy dot com, he's going to call you and troubleshoot anything for you. I did make the mistake of buying the power board because I was so, so after it wouldn't cool down after replacing all the cool unit and the thermostore. I didn't think it would be this little gas burner cause there's nothing to it. I mean, it's just, and mine looked fine. Fairly fine. I'll show that, you that in a minute. But this power board, I even bought a power board. And I ordered the wrong one, but you just gotta make sure you order the right one. You'll see the 16 pin thing there. But he, he called me, the Norco guy, and was like, if it's shutting off and doing what it's supposed to be doing, the board is fine. So don't buy a new board. So um, I returned it to him. So he was pretty cool about that. But uh, definitely, this is, I think, your last resort is the power board. So let me show you the burner. Okay, walk over here. So this is, these are those little pieces I bought. See, I busted, I busted one of these guys. So, garbage. Okay. So, the burner. Literally, looks like this. This is my old one. I don't know if there's something in here that I'm not... Because it was on. It was burning. I mean, I would hear it. Um, I didn't really get a good look at the flame. You know, if it was really clean or if it was just... I, I should have taken the burn box off while I let it light and looked at it, but I never did that. And I did after I replaced it, and it looks good now. I mean, it, the burn, the flame looks really nice. And it's working. So I just, I don't see anything wrong with this, so... It was really frustrating. I feel like I, you know, spent a lot of time and, you know, money buying stuff that I didn't need, but I was able to return most of it except for the cooling unit, which I don't feel bad replacing. It was 17 years old. It needed it anyway. Anyway, that's it. Hope that helps. Um, subscribe and leave a comment. I'm always uh, trying to fix stuff myself and bougie half-ass trying to figure it out. So, thanks.